This is the Mahindra Aerospace Airvan 8. Uh, it uh, is manufactured in Australia by a consider uh, affiliate Gips Aero. Uh, the aircraft was began production in the early 90s. Uh, has been certified in over 30 countries so far. Uh, we have a number of major operators who use the airplane for various and sundry reasons, but uh, it works well in missionary relief. Aviation uh, Missionary Aviation Fellowship has a number of them, like 26. Um, the, uh, they're used for sightseeing, tourism. Uh, the beauty of the aircraft is it just carries a lot of people and a lot of baggage and, and a huge load. Uh, it's a utility aircraft. You can use it for Part 135 operations. Uh, it's very versatile. Uh, the only thing is not as fast, but uh, the speed really doesn't matter when you have a mission and you're accomplishing the mission with 100% accuracy. The aircraft is uh, very robust. It's easy to maintain in the field, easy to take care of. Uh, very economical to operate in terms of fuel burn and so forth, and maintenance is extremely easy. Uh, there are certain pieces and parts of the airplane which would normally take a lot of time to fix uh, in an airplane that would be considered a competitor of ours. Uh, in this aircraft, it's easy to fix and very quickly done. So uh, in terms of an airplane that you use for utility that you need to make money with, it's an excellent machine. You can get in and out of strips that are 1,800 feet with a full load uh, very easily. If you want to push the performance uh, envelope, uh, you can uh, put it into high performance mode. And uh, we just landed in less than 1,000 feet, and we took off in well less than 1,000 feet. So, uh, and I didn't want to skid the tires, so I didn't put the brakes on really hard. So uh, we have a, you know a number of options to how to operate. It can be operated, uh, uh, like I say, you know, in a high performance or a normal performance category. Um, the airplane cruises about 120 knots. If you go to our turbocharged version, it's 130 knots. Uh, the fuel flow in a normally aspirated, you're around 16 gallons an hour and about 19 gallons an hour in the turbocharged version for high-speed cruise. Um, not a lot of people run it that fast because usually you don't have the need to go that fast. There's short hops and uh, you know each specific mission has its own requirements. certified to 20,000 feet so uh, you can you can go up that high of course you would need to add oxygen over 12,000 but uh, that, that's uh, certain, certainly something that we can do and is, is done quite frequently but it operates great uh, low level or high level I just flew up from Seattle Washington Anch to Anchorage Alaska and we were at 500 feet just about the entire way certified right now in about 32 countries as I said. Uh, we're looking to get our certification in Brazil within uh, the next few days actually. All the, everything has been done, everything has been submitted. Uh, we're speaking with a number of people in Colombia. We want to move uh, the operation there and have airplanes delivered there as well. So that'll begin another process that we work with with your authorities to be able to allow the aircraft to come into Colombia. Um, we're doing a number of things with the airplane. We're stretching it slightly 
Two extra seats will be put in. It'll be called an Air Van 10. Uh, we're putting a Rolls-Royce engine on it, so it'll become a turboprop. So the problem that most people deal with, or some countries deal with, with av fuel versus jet fuel, uh, that'll be solved, and you can have it either way you like.